Good morning. Today is July 13th and we are picking up our puppy and bringing him home. So long story short, we're out of town to pick up our puppy. We were actually here last weekend as well to you know, meet with our puppy, make sure we felt good about the one that we chose. And we almost didn't make it home. It was a heat wave. The car overheated and stalled and it was really, really, really bad trip home. We're back again. We actually borrowed my parents' car because even though we took our car in and everything is supposedly good now, we're just so traumatized and we're like, we are not going to be overheated in a car pulled over on the highway or on the freeway with our new puppy. So we borrowed my parents' car. We got here like 6.30 yesterday and we'll be leaving probably around noon. So it's less than a 24-hour trip. And we're really, really excited. We have been having trouble sleeping the past few days because we are just so excited for this. So Kyle, I kid you not, he could not sleep last night. Hopefully he was able to sleep well. He set up <laughs> an appointment at the local sector of our bank here. And he just wanted to meet with like a financial advisor because we've been spending a lot of money on the house. And so he just like, I don't think I'll be able to like wake up in the morning and wait until it's pickup time. I was able to sleep in and I'm just getting ready, packing up, and he is meeting with the financial advisor right now, which I think is so funny. But anyways, we're going to pack up here, have breakfast, and just wait until the breeder calls and says, all right, it's time. I definitely have like calmed down. I feel like it's not real for me until like driving away with that puppy in my arms. So for me, it's like calmed down and it doesn't quite feel real. It has been almost a thousand days since we lost our Rocky and we waited a very long time before we got a new dog and we actually put a deposit down on this dog October 31st two years after we lost him. We've been waiting for this a long time because now it is July and we decided we were ready back in October. So we are so excited. I've never actually had a dog of my own. I have always asked my parents growing up, I always asked for a dog and I never got one. So this is a really, really big deal. And to have him as a puppy, you know, it's going to be a lot of work, but we are so, 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 so excited. All right. We are about to go in and get our puppy. Let's do this. I'm so nervous. Like, I just, I'm anxious. Okay, here we go. All right, we're back in the car with our baby. And he's perfect. His spots will fade, but right now his hair matches Kyle's. And, and we love him. He's a timid guy, and that's part of why we love Tim. And, and we get to take him home now. <laughs> All right, so we are officially hitting the road. Weasley just ate six kibbles and a little bit of a dried venison treat. He's chewed on the yam a little bit, but he was acting really sleepy and now he's hungry. And he also drank some water. We're really, really happy. That's a good sign. First family road trip. He did. Right up into my arm. Right into Kyle's arm, just like how Rocky did. And that was really sweet. That's our little boy. Looks like he's looking for more kibble. All right, we have been on the road about an hour now. We did make a stop back at my aunt's house just to go to the bathroom and see if he would go to the bathroom. And he, he was so shy, but then he actually went and snuggled straight into Kyle. And anyways, we've been on the road for about an hour. He ate like 10 kibble. sticks I just gave it to him to chew on because he was waking up and and he also just drank a lot of water and I kid you not I put him down there with a pee pad a different one and he peed 
and it was little and because he's a puppy so I was able to just bag it up and we're just like over the moon impressed and excited because we just figured he'd pee on the towel and you're just such a perfect good boy huh and he's really liking this this little chew hide which is so exciting he's so comfortable so anyway, super impressed that he peed down there. I did not think that it was going to happen like that, but it did, and that's awesome. And we will be home in less than an hour and a half, so we're just, we're just so happy and just over the moon. All right, we've basically made it home. We we're stopping to get gas so we can have a full tank, but he did so good. Like, it was awesome. We stopped briefly. I really needed to go to the bathroom, so Kyle and Weasley stayed in the car, and it was good because they got to, you know, be with each other for a few minutes, and I went in, went to the bathroom. He did chew on this for a little bit. He did have some more water. He ate another kibble, but it's just been a dream and we're so excited to take him home. The plan is to only introduce him to two rooms today and tomorrow, honestly, it's just gonna be our bedroom and in our bedroom, he is going to be sleeping in a old porter crib and he's gonna have a soft crate in there and there's gonna be a pee pad and a little bit of food and a little bit of water. And then the main room that we spend our time in, he will also be introduced to that, but it looks like he is snoozing again but he is just soft and I think he's really comfortable, which is really great because he's been more reserved and that's kind of actually why we chose him. We really love that quality in him. It just a minute ago, he was just like belly up on me and that's really, really great. So we're just over the moon. Hey, I'm Weasley. We gotta wake him up because we're home. Honey. Oh. Weasley boy, we gotta get you inside. Yeah, it's time to go home. All right, we have been home for two minutes. And this is how it's going. He didn't like the collar, he just kept scratching at it, so we took it, I took it off. And then he gave me kisses as a thank you.